this is an undefeated uh, Logan Sport Barry junior class. Well, all good things must come to an end, and there's no time like the present. Rochester would be uh, licking their chops to put a W on the board tonight. Coming off a win last night at West Central, a decisive 32-point victory, improving their record to 2-2 two and two on the season. Rochester opened up uh, with a win at Culver, a uh, heartbreaking overtime loss at home against Winnemac, and then uh, kind of took their licks against LaVille. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of people are going to take their licks against LaVille, a great shooting basketball team, young team, but great shooting team. We, the Rochester Zebras, live and die with Jordan Reinhold. Well, and Jordan leading the way this year, really, quite frankly, playing the best basketball of his high school career, coming in averaging 16 and a half points per game, four and a half rebounds, a couple assists, a couple of steals a game. So he does just a little bit of everything uh, that Coach Malco needs on the floor. Yeah, and, and in the last three games, he's averaging over 21 points a ball game so, and, and has been absolutely lights out shooting the basketball for, uh, for the, the Zebras. The one good thing Coach Malco has um, going for him is he's playing a lot of sophomores, and that sophomore class, very athletic, Trey Stasiak, um, Bryce Abbott, um, you know, the, these kids, Calvary Lingenfelter, those kids are getting a lot of minutes, got a lot of minutes last night where he was actually platooning five and then coming in with five athletes. So it's things are looking up for the Zebras. Well, and you mentioned that. Let's talk a little bit more about those sophomores. Bryce Abbott uh, that you mentioned will get his second consecutive start, second start of his career as a sophomore. And uh, those of you familiar with Zebra football, he was our fullback. And when you look at him tonight, you'll see why. Yeah, he has no, no fear, whether it's playing football, baseball, or basketball. He's a great athlete. Um, he's going to come out there. He's going to make some things happen. He's not afraid to go up there get rebounds, shoot the ball, drive the basket, good defender. And at 5'10", he's not afraid to go down on the low blocks and post you up. No, nope, and he's strong enough, too. He's got a great lower body, good strength. He's, he's really built himself over the last year with his strength in the weight room. Bryce coming off a season-high 11 points last night, averaging seven a contest at the varsity level, four rebounds. Um, you know, another interesting kid uh, that uh, really has come on lately um, and, and shown much improvement, Alex, on Alex Onafield, uh, the junior. Yep, and Alex had that big, big layup to beat Culver from a beautiful pass from Jordan Reinhold, Reinhold cross court. Um, and, you know, Alex, Alex does all the little things you want him to do in a basketball game. Let's talk a little bit about the point guard situation for the Zebras. It's kind of been open audition throughout the year as uh, Coach has tried a little bit of everybody. Um, get the feeling that maybe that's starting to settle in a little bit, or do we still have some work to do? I think we got some work to do. I mean, everybody, we, you want your best player to have, have, your hand, have his hands on the ball. It's usually Jordan. And they've kind of gone away from that to let open up Jordan. So we're we're, we're going to kind of see it's been kind of a rotation between the sophomores um, uh, as who's going to run the point. But well, we're going to definitely look to take a break for the national anthem. I don't know that we're quite here right now, but. Um what are the keys to victory tonight for Rochester? We're going to have to slow down the Barry's offense. Um, we can't run with them. They're very athletic. Penny being probably the most athletic uh, basketball player we'll see this year. Keep the turnovers down, and the ball has got to go in the bucket when we have possessions. All right. Rochester uh, take it on. Logan Sports tonight, we're about ready for the National Anthem. We're going to take a break, hear from our sponsors, and be right back on RTC4 with Zebra Basketball. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today, online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe. Online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. 
And welcome back to Rochester High School, along with Justin Bach. I am Todd Beeler, and we're just about ready for basketball. Let's take a look at the starting lineups tonight. First for the Logan Sport Berries, they're coached by Pat Skaggs and come in with a record of 3-0. They'll open up at a guard with number three, Sam Skaggs, a six. Thank you. 6'4 junior, averaging 17 and a half points per game. Number four, Elijah Crow comes in as a 6'1 senior, averaging seven points a ball game. Number five, Zach White, a 6'2 senior, averaging five points and three rebounds. Will Penny, the leading scorer, a 6'4 junior, comes in averaging 24 points a ball game, four and a half rebounds and three and a half assists. And number 25, a 6'2 junior, Tucker Platt, Averaging nine points a ball game rounds out the starting lineup for the Logan Sport Berries. For your Zebras, they come in with a record of two and two on the season, and they will start with Austin Utter, a 6'5 senior wearing number three. Austin averaging four points, four rebounds, assist, and a couple of steals per ball game. Jordan Reinholdt, number 15, a 6'3 senior is another starter averaging 16 and a half points a ball game, four and a half rebounds, two assists and two steals. Brady Perez will be a 6'2 junior forward averaging five points and two rebounds a ball game. Bryce Abbott will be another forward, a 5'10 sophomore averaging seven points and four rebounds and rounding out the starting lineup for the Z's, 6'6 junior forward Alex Onafield averaging three points and five rebounds. So we are set for basketball. Should be a good one. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to be interested to see tonight, Todd, along with Jordan, who's going to go, who's going to go with him tonight in scoring. We need Utter and uh, Brady Perez to really get going tonight to help us uh, against the Berries. Well, we fully expect the Berry defense to clamp down on Jordan and force somebody else to step up. We certainly have options and weapons. So uh, we'll see how that unfolds throughout the evening. Getting ready to step it up in the circle. It's Penny and Perez, tap in the air and controlled by the Zebras. Utter throws it across the timeline. Perez in the corner. Utter on top, stolen away. Drive to the basket, lay in is good. Sam Skaggs scores the first two of the night. Got to keep those turnovers low. One thing I'm liking about the Zebras tonight, we're moving a lot better on offense than we have been. And there's another ball thrown away. Errant pass picked up by Skaz. Nice dish in the paint. The hoop and the harm. Tucker Platt gets the basket. Two possessions, two turnovers tonight already, Todd. Foul on number 34, that is... On a field, his first personal, team's first. Platt lets the foul shot go, and it's good. 5-0 early, Barry lead. Reinhold drives foul line, cut off, back on top to Utter, and back to Reinhold again. Utter and Reinhold play catch up high. Perez flashes at the foul line, his shot up no good. Offensive board by Abbott, double pump. And he is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Good rebound there by the sophomore. Got um, good head fake. Got Penny up in the air. Got him a foul. Will Penny's first personal. Abbott at the line. Where he is 9 for 13 so far on the season. And that one's no good. Bryce... Makes a living at the foul line. He's only played in three contests prior to uh, tonight in varsity contests, but he's been to the line 13 times. Which tells you that he's aggressive on the boards and likes to drive into the basket. And that rolls off no good. Barry's with the board, and here comes Penny. Penny Zebra's in the zone. Oops, sorry, Todd. No problem. We'll probably do that more than once tonight. <laughs> Penny on the wing, will let a three fly. Rainbow no good, tapped around. Utter cannot corral it. Offensive rebound to Crow. Alley-oop pass broken up by Onafield. And Rochester gets the turnover. 
top of the key with it was Reinhold. Now entry pass to Onafield at the foul line, and that pass is picked off. Ooh, we trade turnovers. Logan Sport Faithful did not like the call, but an over and back. We'll turn the ball back over to the Zebras. 5-0 early here. 6.24 to go, first period. Zebras, Ryan. oh, here we go again. <laughs> Jordan here on the wing, near side, will dribble into top of the key area just inside the line. His pull-up jumper is good. So Rochester on the board. Penny down on the baseline to White, to Platt, almost tied up by Abbott. White back on top, center circle area for Penny. Skaggs thought about a long three, drove by Perez. Cross court skip cast pass uh, sails out of bounds. So both teams trading turnovers pretty uh, consistently early. Yeah, yep, and, and, and that's helping us. I mean, it's only a three-point game where we've turned the ball over four times, they've turned it over two, and we're only a bucket down. Perez, entry pass into Reinhold. Abbott kicks it out, drew a double team. Jordan's shot was blocked. That ball is kicked out of bounds. Off the foot of Alex Onafield and Barry Ball. No pressure employed by Rochester. Skaggs will direct traffic and bring it across half court. Crow White sets a screen in the corner now to Penny. He lets a three go. That one's off the mark. Loose ball rebound ripped out of there by Alex Onafield. And outlet pass stolen by Penny and laid in for two. 7-2 berries. And Jordan, as he looked to penetrate in from the top, drew a double team, and the uh, ball tapped out of bounds. It will re remain with the Zebras. Our first substitutions of the night, Corbin Wood, 5'11", uh, senior checks in. He's number two. And Calvary Lingenfelder, a sophomore, number 24, will come in and play a guard position. Reinhold pulls up. 15-footer on the baseline is good. So Jordan's knocked down a couple now. He looks confident doing it. Looks, it looks comfortable. Good stroke right there. Penny looks to probe. Skip pass to Skaggs. Fakes a three. Gets it down low. Nice interior feed. That went from White to Platt. And Tucker Platt now with five points. Lingenfelder running the point. Picks up his dribble. Looking for some help. Gets it in the paint on a field. Too hard off the window. Penny with a rebound and he's pushing it. Skaggs with a lay in and that was easy. Skaggs with his second bucket of the night. Lingenfelder right, right wing back on top now. To Wood. Picks up his dribble, back to Lingenfelder. Calvary picks up his dribble at the top and back to Ryan Holt. Jordan out high by the volleyball spiking line. Goes into the corner, now a little curl around by Lingenfelder. Back to Ryan Holt, who drives into the paint, kisses it off the glass for two more. Jordan has all six for the Zebras. Playing very confident right now. Skaggs with it. They'll walk it across the timeline. Barry's being very methodical. Crow, long three on the way. That's off the mark. Offensive rebound by White. Nice and play by Lingenfelter. Lingenfelter saves the ball into Reinhold. He'll pull up again off the window and good. Jordan's got the stroke working early. Zebras down three, 11 8, 248 to go first period. White with it on the baseline, draws a double team and looks to bounce it off Abbott's foot. It went off of White's foot before it hit the ground. Ball turned over to Rochester. A couple of uh, substitutions. Perez back into the line. He replaces Wood. 
And in for the first time is Tyler Walker, a 6'3 junior, averaging a couple of points and four rebounds. He'll replace Alex on a field. On top, Lingenfelder picks up his dribble, looks for help, gets it to Reinhold, up high. Jordan looking to probe. Abbott now on high. Foul line extended to Walker. Reinhold looking to work. Drives baseline and loses the ball out of bounds. Turnover Zebras. Rochester freely substituting early. Logan Sport yet to go to their bench. I'm sorry, Jacob Cox has checked in just at the last time out, and I missed it. Jacob's number 40 in red. Entry pass batted away by Walker, and loose ball picked up by Abbott. Rochester's done a very good job of defending that uh, alley-oop pass over the top. They're, they're content uh, on defense to um, give up the long three. So what they're doing up top is we're matching up. It's almost, it's almost an amoeba defense. So the top two are going to play man on the ball, and then everybody else is in the zone. Barry Fowl was on 25, Tucker Platt. Perez was in the act of shooting. He'll get two foul shots. First one on the way, and that one is no good. Foul shooting been a little bit of a bugaboo for the Zebras. 62% so far on the season. And need those foul shots tonight. Need every point we can get. Brady lines it up on the way, and that one's off the back iron, but gets the friendly roll. Zebra's only down a deuce with a minute 46 to go. First period. Skaggs with it. Brings it back between the circles off to Penny, right wing. Skaggs. You just get the feeling he is a threat to let it loose at any point on the court. Yeah, he's, he's dangerous from the parking lot in. Skaggs probes, nice pass to Penny, who blew by the Zebra defense on the baseline and lays it in. Ryan Holt across the center court for the Zebras. Cross court pass, up high to Perez. Lingenfelder, second thought on the shot, had the presence of mind to put the ball on the ground and keep it in play and then Errant pass off of Walker's uh, noggin out of bounds, and it'll be Zert, uh, Logan Sport basketball. That was an excellent, excellent play by Lingenfelter. So Logan Sport with the ball. Skagg kind of pump fakes a shot from the spiking line, and a great interior feed. Number 40, Cox gets the bucket. Platt with an excellent assist. Perez into on a field, and that one's off the glass and good. So Alex with his first two of the night, and the Zebra's hanging around, down and, by four. And that's what we need to do, just keep hanging around, keep hanging around, making good plays, getting some stops. Skaggs with a long one. That one's in and out, no good. Rebound taken out of there by Cox. Penny will drive, and his shot up in the traffic was good. Rochester will play for the last shot here. 10 seconds and counting in the quarter. Reinhold off to Perez. Nice feed into on a field. Back out, three pointer on the way from Lingenfelder is good at the buzzer. Nice shot, nice shot. Excellent job by Calvary Lingenfelder. Great execution. And at the end of one, it's Logan Sports 17, Rochester 13. We're gonna take a break. You're watching Zebra Basketball live right here on RTC4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. 
back again for Zebra Basketball. We're starting the second quarter here. Rochester 13, Logan Sports 17. Barry Basketball here as we open up this stanza. And Will Penny with the ball off to Skaggs. He'll look to drive, kicks back out the plat around the horn. Penny lets a three fly and that one's good. Jordan late on the rotation right there. Got caught in the middle. Will Penny with six points in the first quarter, adds three for a total of nine so far. Averaging 24 and a half coming into the contest. Lingenfelder on top, running the point for the Zebras. High wing. Reinhold, his pass stolen away. Fast break and Penny, two more and a foul. Fouls on number 15, that's Jordan Reinhold, his first personal foul, team second. Penny at the line to attempt the three-point play. That one's around the rim, no good. Excellent rebound, though, by Cox. And he kicks it back on top to Wickersham. Penny left wing. He'll back it out. They'll run the play. Skaggs now on top. Wickersham with a three on the way. That one off the top of the backboard and no good. We did not mention number 33 for Logan Sports, six foot junior Eli Wickersham is now in the ball game and took that last shot a little bit long. And Zach White off the bench for Coach Skaggs getting ready to check back in at the next dead ball. Reach around foul there by Penny. He's gonna pick up his second. That could be a big one. Yeah, because he's starting to get hot right now. Um, just right now, second chance points for Logan Sport is really, really hurting the Zebras. White back in for Logan Sport. Platt will take a break. And ball triggered into the backcourt to Lingenfelder. Calvary for not having much experience at all at the varsity level here. Actually has looked pretty comfortable uh, and done a pretty good job overall uh, at that point guard spot. He plays a lot of basketball when you, when people aren't looking. So at the you know at the um, lunchtime or you know at the park. Well, I can attest for that. I I live in the same neighborhood, and that kid's got a basketball in his hands all the time outside, up and down the street, working in the driveway. Nifty move in the paint. Shot no good by Perez. Rebound ripped out of there by Wickersham. Penny brings it across the stripe. Cross court to Wickersham on the baseline now to White. Double team and ball thrown off of Perez out of bounds. Berries will have it underneath their own basket. Platt with a short break on the bench. He checks back in replacing Cox. 6.07 to go first half. Logan Sport 22, Rochester 13. Coach Malco will go to his bench. And Austin Utter checks back in, giving Abbott a rest. Good minutes from, from the sophomore Abbott. Platt on top to White, back in the corner. Three-point shot on the way. That's by Skaggs, no good. Loose ball, rebound, tapped back out and corralled again by Tucker Platt. Three on the way. That one's off the mark, no good. And Utter with a rebound, and he's going to be fouled by Sam Skaggs. That's going to be Sam's first personal, team's fourth. I have the berries with five offensive rebounds in the half. Well, they are certainly crashing the boards and a lot of balls being tipped several times before they can be corralled right now. Which tells you that we're not boxing out the way we should be boxing out. Entry pass, Reinhold, he was held. So that's gonna be another team foul against Logan Sport. Number 33, that's Eli Lick Wickersham with his first personal. Jackson Crowd will check in for Logan Sport. He's a 6'4 junior wearing number 44. Inbounds pass to Utter. He'll go to Reinhold, lets a three fly. That's off the back iron, no good. Jordan follows his shot, gets the rebound. That shot up, no good. Tip off the rim, no good. On a field fighting for it, but Wickersham comes away with a board. And here comes Penny. Excellent hustle play. I thought that was gonna be an easy lay-in, and Reinhold 
just streak of lightning down <laughs> down the court to knock it away at the last second. And, and good thing he did because I think Penny was going there to rattle the rattle the uh, iron there for a dunk. We've got an injury here. I did not see what happened to Calvary Lingenfelder. He's going to have to check out. It looks like he's in a bit of a daze. May have taken a shot to the head. So Corbin Wood checks back into the lineup. And hopefully Calvary can clear the cobwebs here and uh, be able to continue here in a little bit. Skaggs triggers it, and that's just too easy. Yep. Somebody missed an assignment. Tucker Platt with an easy lay-in. And the Bears extend their lead by 11. Zebras looking for their first score here of the second period. Utter looking for help up high. Now put the ball on the court. Dribbles cut off at the foul line. Back to Wood. Left wing looking for help. Back on top to Reinhold. Reinhold being hawked by Elijah Crow on defense. We've got a kick ball. That'll be out of bounds underneath the zebra basket. Rochester retains possession. Again, la last night the woes for the Zebras in, in, a, in a blowout win were the missed bunnies. It's the same thing tonight against the Berries. Wood, entry pass to Onafield. He turns back to Jordan. Three on the way from the top of the key is short. Rebound taken away by Skaggs. Nice feed in the paint on the fast break. And two more for Will Penny. 13 points in the ball game now for Will. On the blocks, on a field, back out, Perez. Brady looks to drive in the paint, and he was tripped. That'll now be the 16 foul, so one more, and the Zebras will be at the line. Fouls on 25, Tucker Platt, his second personal. So Penny and Platt now, each with two. They're the only players approach, approaching any degree of foul difficulty at this point. Platt will check back out. Number 40, Cox, Jacob Cox checks back in for Coach Skaggs. Utter, cut off, needs a little help. Has it, Perez in the corner, entry pass to Reinhold, back to Utter. He'll let a three fly, and Nailed that was good. Good look for Austin Utter. Utter's a streaky shooter, and so it's a good to see one of the early ones go down the well. Skaggs with it. Entry pass. That's picked off by Utter. Austin, a couple of steals a game is what he averages, so he adds to that total. Has the ball right wing. One dribble back on top to Perez. Brady, right wing to Reinhold. Interior pass to Utter. Looking to put a move on, spins, shoots, scores. There you go. I told you he can be streaky. And when he does, he can get him in bunches. Rochester trims the lead to eight, 26-18, three and a half minutes to go until half. And the Berries are gonna pull it out, burn a little bit of clock, and work the basketball. Zebra's in a two-three zone. Skaggs content to just hold it out high. He's going to let one of those fly here. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yep. Penny, left side. Thinks about driving baseline. Kicks it back on top to Skaggs. There he did. That one around the rim, no good. And strong rebound taken out of there by Brady Perez. He can elevate. He certainly can. Perez, entry pass to Reinhold. Shot fake in the lane from 10 feet off the glass. That one's no good. Rebound taken away by Crowd. And traveling call. Logan Sport is at their best in transition. So we've got to make baskets, get back on defense, make them work for it. If you've noticed, Skaggs and Penny, they run the floor very well. You're absolutely correct. I don't know how many fast break points they have tonight, but it seems like the majority of points have come from that. In the half court set, we've done a good job of packing the defense down and forcing the outside shot, which hasn't, hasn't yet uh, come, to, come to fruition for the Berries tonight. No, well, and if we would hit some of these layups that we've missed, and I mean, this is probably a four point ball game. 
Elijah Crow with a personal foul. Berries are in the bonus. So Jordan shooting one and one. That first one is on the way and good. First points of the second quarter for Jordan. He now has nine in the ball game. Jordan comes in shooting 80% from the foul line. And I did not jinx him for the record. <laughs> Rochester right back in the thick of things after falling behind by 11. They've cut the lead to six, approaching two minutes to go in the half. Penny with the ball. Rochester stays in the zone. Penny gonna launch a long rainbow and right there we go, it's down the wheel for three. That's his second trifecta of the evening. Ryan Holt with a crossover dribble, creates some space to Utter now in the corner, looking for some help, looking for some help. Cross court skip pass to Perez, gets it down on the baseline to Onafield, but Alex will kick it back on top. Perez drives into the lane, great left-handed layup off the glass and in. Brady Perez with his first field goal tonight. Beautiful move. Yeah, when Brady decides to do those things, he's it's hard to stop him. Well, he's got a kind of athletic ability that not everybody's blessed with. <laughs> no. Great entry pass, but we're going to have a foul on the floor prior to it. It's going to be on Corbin Wood, his first personal. Only the third team foul for Rochester. Now, we've only got a minute 11 to go. Barry's on top, 29-22. Skaggs will trigger it in underneath his own basket. Swing it around, back in the corner to Skaggs. He'll let a three fall, fly from the corner. That's no good. Loose ball taken out of there by Logan Sport. Kicked around and on a field comes up with it finally <laughs> for Rochester. Lots and lots of loose balls tipped around and kicked around. We got lucky on that one. Skaggs got a wide open look from three and missed it. Here's Perez, looks to probe again. Lost the ball, lost his footing. Here comes Penny on the break. Puts on a move. <laughs> nice lay-in. I mean, there, as a coach, all you can do is just shake your head. I mean, that, most kids can't make that shot. If I tried to contort my body like that, I would be in traction for weeks. Yes, I would too. Ryan Holt, top of the key. Off to Perez. Will Zebras play for one as we're under 20 seconds? Barry's up nine. Perez back on top to Wood. One and clock, 10 seconds. It's about time to get something going. In the hands of Reinhold. Kicks it back to Wood. He'll pull up. Jumper off the glass is no good. Barry's have it. Will heave one up at the buzzer. That one on the way just off the rim and no good. We have reached the half with the score. Logan Sport, 31. Rochester, 22. We'll take a break. Come back in a little while and give you some halftime statistics and commentary. You're watching Zebra Basketball right here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And welcome back to Rochester Community High School. We're at the half. Logan Sport 31, Rochester 22. Let's take a look at uh, some of the halftime statistical data here, Justin. First for Logan Sport, story of the ball game really. When Logan Sport gets out in transition, they're deadly. They are 12 out of 13, 92% from two point range and that's all in the paint. Yep, yep. Only shooting 18% from three-point range. That's keeping Rochester in the ballgame. 62% overall field goal shooting for Logan Sport. 14 of 24 from the foul line, 58%. Eight turnovers for Logan Sport. 
for Rochester, uh, they are shooting 53%, very respectable, only one of three from three-point range. That's not a big part of the Zebra arsenal. Nope. Um, Rochester, you know, pretty even in the turnover battle. Rochester with one more with nine. Zebra's five steals to none for Logan Sports. So, you know, statistically, it's not that bad. We've got to cut down on some turnovers, and, and transition defense has got to be a big key. Yeah, and, and the, so if, you're, if your turnovers are the way they are and we're shooting 53%, they're shooting lights out from two-point range at 92%. So what, why are we down nine? It's rebounding. It's rebounding. They're getting out and rebounding. We only have five rebounds for the for the half. So and only if there's three of them were offensive, and one and two of them were in one possession. So that's where the discrepancy is. That's where Logan Sports getting out running, getting transition layups. And of course, playing the zone defense for the majority of the first half, it's a little more difficult. You've got to go find a body to put it on and block out. And that's and that's and that's hard for any team that plays a zone to remember is to you got to turn around and find a person, find a body to put a body on instead of running to the basket. Well, I have no doubt they're getting coached up right now, so we'll see if some adjustments are made at halftime. Let's take a look at leading scorers in the first half. Will Penny leading the way for Logan Sport, 18 points. Uh, he has hit two threes, but most of that's been in the transition game. Yep, and he is silky smooth when he's running down the floor and puts it right there on easy layups. Tucker Platt has done some damage in the paint as well, seven points. Sam Skaggs coming in averaging 17 points a ball game, contained him to four and uh, feel pretty fortunate he hasn't been able to get the long ball dialed in. No, but he, what else does he what else does he do well? He he's great passer. Had about I would say probably five or six assists there to Will Penny in the first half. Absolutely, and uh, Jacob Cox also two points rounding out the scoring for the Berries. for the Zebras. They were led in the first half by Jordan Reinholt with ten points. Got off to a very hot first quarter, but then. Kind of quieted down a little bit in the in the second period. Yeah, I, the Logan Sport adjusted, came out a little bit farther on their man, were, and they got great help side defense against Jordan um, in his dribble drives. So credit Logan Sport for that. Austin Utter, five points in the first half on back-to-back -back baskets in the second quarter. Three points for Brady Perez, and Calvary Lingenfelder hit a three at the buzzer to end the first period. Alex Onifield also with two points to round out Zebra scoring in the first half. Jordan, let's take a look at the junior varsity contest from earlier today. Rochester hangs on at the end with the victory, 45-43. They improved to 4-0 and on the season. What are the things you like uh, that you're seeing from the junior varsity squad? They play hard every game, every minute of the game. They do all the little things well. They got they got kind of Logan Sport came back there in the second half. They didn't they didn't go crazy. They didn't force anything. They played within themselves. Did all the small things right. Got another victory there um, for coach. Well, you got a lot of hungry sophomores out there making decisions for this coaching staff. Very difficult. And you got a junior class. We know we look at that junior class and we we think of Brady. Um, and, but that junior class as a whole is a very hardworking, very blue collar group of kids. And they'll do all the little things for you to win a ball game. Well, and my point really wasn't that sophomores should be replacing upperclassmen mm -hmm. by any means. No. What I was trying to get across with, you've got a hungry group of kids that are willing to work hard. That pushes everybody else on the roster all the way up to bring their best every night. And, and and those those juniors that are playing JV, they accept their roles. They have their whole um, basketball careers, and, and, and that's what makes them a top-notch group of kids. Leading scorers uh, in the junior varsity game this evening for Rochester, Caden Bixler. He's a six-foot sophomore, led the way with 13 points. Isaiah Jackson, a 5'10 sophomore, who has seen some varsity action this year, had 11 points. Nick Allen, a 5'10 sophomore with eight. Elijah Yarber, a 6'4 sophomore with six points. 
Jerry Plummer, a six-foot junior, four points. And I'll, I'll put a plug in for Jerry. He had 16 last night um, and just really played a, a good all-around ball game. Calvary Lingenfelder played a half of basketball at the JB level, scored two, and Trey Stasiak played one half uh, of basketball at the JB level and scored one point. Again, Rochester improves to 4-0 with a 45-43 victory. We'll give you an update on the girls here at the next break. We might even talk a little freshman basketball in a little bit. But right now, second half is underway. Zebra basketball. Utter, Reinhold, Perez, Abbott, and Onafield, the five on the floor to start the second nice. half. And there's our streaky guy we would love to get going. Austin Utter drains a three from the top of the key. It's a good thing. That's a good way to start the half right there for the Zebras. Skaggs will play catch with Penny out high. Logan kind of standing still early here. They get it on the blocks. Double team for Platt. He's going to kick it out on top. Crow will get it back and will work the ball around. A deep three from the left wing is good from Sam Skaggs. I bet he's feeling good to finally see one go down the well. Good inside out right there by the Berries to get that three-pointer. So the team's trade trifecta is to start the third quarter. Logan Sport back on top by nine. Having a nice pass back to Onifield as he went up for the shot. He was fouled in the act. Got a slap across the wrist, and he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Foul is on number 25, Tyler Platt. That is his third personal. And that's big. Early in the third quarter, get a third personal on Platt. But Platt does all the dirty work down there. He is down there working the boards, setting screens. Um, and just one of those unsung heroes down there that uh, doesn't get all the, press, uh, all the publicity. No, but he does all the little things for you, and he's a competitor. You can tell that by, by the way he's out there already sucking a little bit of air. Excellent looking pair of free throws from Alex Onafield. He knocks those down. Alex now four points in the game. We've got a nice trap here. Penny fights through it. Gets it to Crow. Little one, two, two, and that's what happens when you do it. Shot blocked by Perez, and now we're going the other way quickly. Crow lays it up and good. It looked like two easy ones for Rochester, and it ends up to the other direction. Maybe just a little late on the feet on that break from Rochester. Well, the different, I mean, Brady kind of contorted his body instead of accepting the, accepting the contact, he tried to get away from it. Should have went straight up with it. We're gonna have an offensive foul here called on Jordan Reinhold. Just extended the arm a little bit as he went to make his move and went into the defender. It's gonna be a turnover from Rochester. And Barry's back in possession. Up nine, approaching six minutes. There's Platt. Well, we talked about him being the workhorse earlier. That time he drives to the basket and lays in two points. And he has nine for the night. That's right on his season's average. Perez, jumper, that one's short. Abbott, offensive rebound. Pump fake, shot short. Penny with a rebound, loose ball. Perez dives after it, but picked up by Skaggs. And Abbott is riding him all the way down the court. Skaggs looks to put a move on Abbott, and that time Bryce got caught on the pump fake, and he'll pick up the foul. Two possessions for the Zebras, back-to-back -back layups, and we can't find the bottom of the bucket. Well, that was, a, that was kind of the theme last night at West Central. Even though Rochester won in a blowout fashion, uh, there were probably six to eight layups, shots at Point Blake range that they just couldn't get to fall. Right. So hopefully that's something. We'll get over that hump quickly. Skaggs penetrates, and uh, White wasn't quite ready for the pass. It sails out of bounds. That, that's a guy who is used to Sam putting it in the bottom of the hole instead of passing it off. Well, Zach White was turning to get in rebounding position and I think was quite surprised when the ball was coming his way on a pass. Perez, left wing, off to... Hands off to Jordan. Jordan will look to drive, kicks it in the corner. Utter his shot on the way. That one's short and no good, and Platt away with a rebound. The Berries look to push it again and do so successfully. Zach White with a lay-in, 
Platt the assist. And Coach Malco is going to call timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll just keep it right here. Justin, we talked a little bit about the girls game tonight. They're at Wabash, and do we have a score update? Yeah, but halftime, we have, it's 31-22 uh, Wabash. And from the reports I'm getting, the girls just not being able to find the bottom of the, of the hoop tonight, kind of like what the boys are doing right now. Well, hopefully the girls turn that around in the second half. I, I can also report that the JV girls lost tonight in their contest at Wabash by a score of 33 to 25. But the girls, eight and three so far on the season. Uh, they've, they've started very, very strong and have been showing a lot of improvement as now we're getting into more of the Three Rivers Conference part of the schedule. Yeah, but the, the girls at 3-0 and in the conference, and uh, tonight Wabash is really playing for their, for, for their conference lives against the Lady Z's. We'll keep you updated as more score. And that, more. that uh, Todd, excuse me, that uh, score is 25-12 at the half for, ah. for the girls. All right, thanks for the update, Justin. We'll pass more along to you as they come. Zebras with the ball, down 13, and errant pass sails out of bounds. Turnover to Logan Sport, and uh, good to see Calvary Lingenfelder getting ready to check back into the ball game. If you remember, he uh, took a shot to the head toward the end of the half and uh, was shaken up, but uh, good to see him able to return. So he'll check in at the next dead ball. Platt looks to put a move on in the paint, kicks it off his foot, retains possession, skags wide open in the corner and drains his second three of the quarter. On a field, nice pump fake. His shot off the glass and good. Alex Onnefeld now with six points in the contest. Penny on top, back to Skaggs. He'll pull another deep one. That one off the front iron, no good, but there's Platt again with the offensive rebound. Skaggs Pass underneath, kick back out. Crow drives his shot short and on a field with the rebound. That's what Alex does inside the paint. He really alters a lot of shots. Zach Graham into the lineup now for Rochester. Failed to mention him a little bit ago. Zach, a 6'1 junior wearing number 11. And Lingenfelder, as aforementioned, will check in and Alex on a field will take a breather. 4-12 to go, third period. 43-29, Barry advantage. Three possessions for the Zebras in a row and three turnovers. Platt, nice pass down low. White thought about it, had nothing there. Swing it around, long three on the way and good from Will Penny. That's Penny's first points of the second half and he now has 21 in the contest. Lingenfelder picks up his dribble, top of the key, back to Reinhold. Jordan between the circles, being harassed by Crow. Jordan picks up his dribble at the top of the key. Perez into the corner to Graham. Graham looking for an entry pass to Abbott. It wasn't there. Back out, top of the key. Three point on the way by Lingenfelder. Misses it, a foul to his shot and got the rebound. And pass knocked out of bounds by Crow. Last touch by the Berries. Rochester will retain possession. That's what you want to see from a shooter. He went, he knew it was not going to go in. Instead of sitting back there, letting them going to go get the rebound, he runs down there, grabs the rebound. Here we go. We got another another chain, another possession. Austin Utter, number three, back into the lineup. 6-5. Senior forward. Reinhold got mugged in the paint. No call. Penny out and running yet again. He's going to take it all the way to the hole and lays it in for two more. A lot of bodies crashing into each other there and no calls whatsoever. Yeah, push by Tucker Platt on Jordan as he went for the steal. Should have been called. It was pretty blatant. Reinhold back, top of the key. Utter, he looks to work baseline. He'll pull up. His shot short. Ball tipped. Platt takes the rebound and he's right out pushing the action. A little bit too far of a lead pass for Penny, and it's going to turn right back over to Rochester. He is a good passer for a big man, real well, good passer. And for a big man, he grabs the ball, puts it on the court, and forces the action ahead. Yep. He's not looking for a guard. Huge advantage. Perez thought about three. Back to Utter, left wing. 
Trying to get an entry pass to Reinhold on the baseline. Jordan back on top to Utter. Austin, two-man game in the post to Jordan. His shot off the mark, no good. Loose ball tapped out of bounds, last touched by Logan Sport. A couple of substitutions. Number 33, Eli Wickersham and back into the game. And number 40, Jacob Cox check in. Zach White, along with uh, Elijah Crow, coming out for Logan Sport. Layups. Layups have been brutal the first here in the third quarter, first six minutes of the third quarter. Well, Logan Sport picked up where they left off in the first half, those transition layups. Good luck. Good nice luck. job. Good feed inside to Abbott, who turned, kissed it off the backboard, and knocks down his first two points of the night. Oh, excellent feed. Excellent feed to, from Penny to Cox, who lays it in for two more. Fast-paced ball game. Shot missed by Perez. Loose ball out of bounds, and Rochester will keep it. So if you know basketball, you play a zone to slow it down. The moment, so that means you're conceding that athletically they're better than we are athlete, athletically. Now we're in a running contest, so it's favoring Logan Sport, hence the 19-point lead. Corbin Wood checks back in, giving Perez a break. In again. Good luck. Right hold with the assist. Abbott with a lay-in. So Bryce with back-to-back -back buckets. Good look from Jordan right there. 125 to go, third period of play. 50-33, Logan Sport advantage. Rochester looking to get a stop and finish this quarter strong. In the corner, three on the way. That one's no good. Rebound. Bucket and a foul. Eli Wickersham with the offensive putback. And that foul is going to be on Corbin Wood, his second personal. Those are those little things. Not, not blocking out. Two Logan Sport berries. They blocked out. They got the ball. So we got a bucket in and one opportunity right now. Utter and Ryan Holt will check out as Tyler Walker back into the ball game and making his first appearance tonight. Number 12, sophomore Trey Stasiak. Loose ball, out of bounds. It'll go the way of the Zebras. Coaching staff telling the guys, you got to make contact when the ball goes up. So Calvary Lingenfelder will bring it across. We've got a sophomore backcourt. Actually, three guard attack right now with Corbin Wood being a senior in there as well. Abbott, a sophomore on the block along with Tyler Walker, a junior. Abbott, pump fakes, wants to make a move. Does so, steps through, shot mm. up, and they're going to wave it off and call a travel. Good effort from Bryce right there. He tried to split, split the defenders, just took one too many steps. You know what I like, though? You could see it in his eye right there. He saw himself matched up one-on-one -on -one with Will Penny, and he wanted to take mm -hmm. him to the yep, basket. Yep, and, and, and that's what you want. You want to, you still want to compete, even though we're down 19. Keep competing. Abbott will check out as Alex Onifield will come back in for Rochester. 42 seconds now to go in the quarter. Platt brings it up. Back between the circles quickly around the horn. Skaggs back to... Penny and back to Skaggs and he hits another three. After a quiet first half, he has knocked down three from downtown here in the third period. And there's a turnover again. Skaggs with it, lays it in, transition bucket. And the lead balloons back up to 24. That's the largest lead of the night. And Lingenfelder fouled from behind by Sam Skaggs. It's going to be his second personal. Justin, I want to give a shout out. I understand we are live tonight and we've got a cast of characters at Eureka College in Eureka, Illinois watching tonight. The Fighting Rev Devils. <laughs> so a shout out to those guys. Thanks for joining us on the broadcast. And I've got a Eureka College trivia question I'm going to give you in a little bit. So stay tuned. <laughs> So that's going to end the third period. 
57-33, Logan Sport advantage over Rochester. We're going to take a break. You're watching Zebra Basketball live right here on RTC4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And back once again, Rochester High School. We've got eight minutes remaining in the contest. Rochester trailing Logan Sport 57-33. Indeed. Justin, we gave a shout out a little bit earlier to Eureka College. They are ranked number 33 in NCAA Division III right now. Trivia question that I want you to think about. Who is Eureka College's most famous alumni? Think about that a while. We'll come back to it in a little bit. The AFLAC trivia question. This is, this is the RTC TV4 <laughs> AFLAC trivia question. Bryce Abbott picks up his second personal foul. That's uh, the fourth team foul of the second half. And Will Penny was in the act of shooting, and he'll go to the line. That one's short. Well, he does have a chink in his armor. Not many. Yeah. That one's good. I think this last... This last quarter, Todd, what we're wanting to look at is just how we compete, you know, being down this much. We got to keep fighting, keep playing, you know, just just don't want to just roll over and die. Just keep going after it just like Brady did right there. Amen. Strong, strong move in the paint by Perez. He's going to be fouled. That's going to be Tucker Platt's fourth personal. Only three team fouls for Logan Sport. Been pretty, pretty cleanly played from a foul standpoint here so far in the second half. And they've let him they've let him play here a little bit. I think Tucker probably could have been out of the ball game here a couple times, but they're letting him play and you know, you just gotta you gotta adjust to the refs. Perez misses the first one. He'll have one more on the way. By the way, on that Affleck trivia question, no internet usage, okay? <laughs> That second one, no good. I'm just going to let you tell me one. <laughs> we'll see if anybody at home wants to play along. You ready for that answer? Yes, please. Okay, I, I'm going to spare you my duck impersonation. Okay. Ronald Reagan. Oh, there you go. Ronald Reagan. The Gipper himself. Yes. Most famously known as the Gipper. Did he do anything else the rest of his career? Uh, yeah. President of the United States, I think. Oh, yeah. Mm. And loose ball kicked, and we're going to have a travel called before that. So back over to Rochester. Zebras hustling down the floor. They're, this is what I'm, I'm looking at as a coach. This is what you're looking at. You know, who's going to give me that effort? We're going to keep getting after it. Perez, right wing, looks to put a move into the plane, drives strong. Beautiful. Shakes a defender and lays it in. That's the kind of offensive effort you want to see out of Brady Perez. Brady Perez. Only his fifth point tonight. But when he does it, can, if he can learn to do it consistently, he's going to score points in bunches. Well, and he's certainly come out with a lot more aggression here to start this fourth period. Skaggs drives baseline, kicks it back out. Shot on the way by Crow. That one's off the back iron and no good. Reinhold with a rebound, and he's looking to push it up ahead to Abbott, but just couldn't handle the pass. Don't think he was quite ready for that. No, and but good look from Jordan. Just, you know... Wasn't ready for it. And I, and I think Coach Skaggs went in at halftime and told the Berries, hey, th we're not going to sit out there and wait on the zone. They have moved the ball well um, to open up shots just like that one right there. Skaggs, three, rims out, but Zach White right there for the offensive rebound and stick back. Berries 
open up a 25 point advantage and they're on the run again. Skaggs leaks out and lays it in. So after only four points in the first half, Sam Skaggs now with 13 in the second half, 17 in the ball game. Right on his average. Will Penny leads all scores. Oh, nice look from Jordan. With 24 and again, Jordan with a nice feed, but we just couldn't cash in. And that senior is playing as hard as he can, even though we're down 27 points. Wood and on a field check back into the lineup. Lingenfelder and Abbott come out. Well, we mentioned it in our pregame show, and Jordan playing the best basketball of his high school career right now, and it is a complete game. Not only, not only putting the ball in the bucket, but rebounding, assist, and really just kind of being that leader out on the floor right now. And he and I and Todd, I, I have said this before, uh, to Jordan. The best thing he could have done was do what he did this fall and be a part of a of the tennis team and not be not be an everyday player and um, be a role player, be a leader, be, see who, what it's like to be on the other side, not be the guy. Had an injury timeout as uh, it looked like Penny had a finger in the eye, may have lost a contact, so he went to the locker room to address that situation. And number 33, Eli Wickersham, um, a six-foot junior, checks back into the lineup to replace him. Zebra ball, Reinhold to trigger it in right in front of us. Does so, up high to Perez, swings it around to Abbott. Abbott looks for an entry pass into Alex Onifield. Kicks it back out, Utter, three on the way. That's no good. Skaggs with a board. He's That's looking to push the action. It's a quality look for the Zebras, an inside out three. That's what you're wanting. It certainly was. Wickersham, his three on the way, no good. Skaggs, offensive rebound. His shot, no good. And we're going to have a foul over the back. And that's uh, Alex Onifield was in a good rebounding position, and, and he got pushed. Here's some trivia for you. I'm, a, I'm just going to tell you. Rochester was a charter member of the North Central Conference back in 1936. Played for a couple years, was replaced by the... Um, Lafayette Jeff Broncos. So this rivalry right here is one of the longest standing rivalries in the state of Indiana. Well, there's a piece of trivia that I don't believe I knew. So we're even. And, uh, here's another one. The last single class Logan Sport basketball sectional, I was on the winning team against Lewis Cass, with, the, uh, with the Lewis Cass Kings. So... Skaggs picked up the last foul. Five team fouls now for Logan Sport. Reinhold pulls up from the foul line. His shot off the mark, no good. Mm. And we've got a push there. Perez is going to pick up a foul. It's going to be Rochester's fifth. So nobody's shooting quite yet. It's only Brady's first personal. 62-35, Logan Sport advantage with four minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the contest. Jarrett Price checks in for Logan Sport, 5'11 senior getting his first action. Logan Sport moving the ball crisply, inside out, around the horn. Now in, crowd, this pass stolen away by Perez. Brady with it across the stripe. Back to Utter and yep. they're gonna call block. Good call. Elijah Crow picks up the foul, his second. And the Zebras will trigger it in underneath their own bucket. Justin, freshman basketball. Yes. Uh, earlier today, they participated in the Southwood uh, tournament. Uh, defeated Peru handily uh, in game number one. Kyle Reinert's leading the way with 13 points. Rochester ran into a buzzsaw in the championship game against a very, very good Southwood team. Yeah, Southwood shot very well from outside against the freshman Zebras, and, and that patented Coach Burris 2-3 zone there gave, gave the young guys some fits this afternoon. Kyle Reinerts again, another strong outing, though, in that championship game. 20 points as the game high scorer, so uh, uh, really talented squad coached by... Joe McCarter, freshman now three and one on the season, and uh, 
a lot of kids that are going to help this program in the very near future. There is a lot of talent between the sophomore, freshman and sophomore classes. Excellent. The Excellent assist by Reinhold, and Alex Onefeld is the recipient. He lays it in and now has eight points. Good night tonight for the junior inside. Logan Sport to be a little more deliberate, working the ball right now. Well, the Red Sea parted, and the big guy, Jackson Crowd, laid it in easy for two. I don't know if I'd want to get in front of him. So <laughs> Perez drives hard to the hole. His shot up, no good. Contact, no foul called, but Alex Sonnefield will be fouled on the offensive rebound. Way to crash the boards there for Alex, going up strong, getting the rebound, getting the foul. Alex will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. Lingenfelder and Abbott checking back in as Perez and Reinhold will check out, probably for the last time. And, and let's let, let's put this game in perspective too. The Zebras are this year are, are are playing well. This is probably going to be the best basketball team they're going to see, top to bottom. Well, again, we're looking at a 4A school, Rochester, a 2A school. Alex, good job of the night uh, tonight at the line. Yeah, he's got a silky smooth stroke there at the foul line. Alex came in shooting three of six at the line on the season so far tonight. He is three of three. He'll have one more coming up. Tyler Walker getting ready to check in for the shooter. So after the make or the following dead ball, Walker will be entered into the ball game again. Well, I jinxed him. Yep, he'll get another one. But we've got a lane violation. So, hey, it's a do-over. <laughs> it's not your fault. All is good. Last, uh, last update from the Lady Zebras over at Wabash tonight. The Lady Zebras are down 57-33 at the end of three. And that one's no good. Offensive rebound. Oh, yeah, Abbott. Bryce How about Abbott. that? Nice job, Bryce Abbott. Hustling, getting the rebound, puts it right up behind his back and goes right in the hole. Well, Bryce Abbott, a strong second half. All six of his points coming here after halftime. That was something, Todd, I was, I was watching tonight, the game, the game inside the game. How would the sophomores react to a team like this? And I don't think the moment was too big for them. I, do, I don't either. I think they've come out and they've just played hard the whole way. Obviously, there's things that things that they need to, to learn and improve upon. But but you do that by playing and, and, and having games like this and learning from them. Trey Stasiak, another sophomore, back into the lineup. He's wearing number 12. He's wear, right here on the right wing with the ball, looking to move on crowd, drives into the paint, kicks it out to Wood. Back on top to Stasiak. Bounce pass, Abbott gets it into the paint to on a field. Alex will turn. And uh, he's fouled. He's going to shoot one in the bonus. Put that shot up, you get two. But um, he wasn't quite comfortable with uh, with his angle and, and looked to pass there. But yeah. bailed out with a foul. And the way he shot from the foul line, that's okay. Brandon Goodman, number 35, a 6'1 junior in the lineup for Logan Sport. He picked up a foul. Another, another uh, player into the lineup right now for the Berries is 5'6 sophomore. Juan Alvarado. Alex knocks down the first foul shot. He'll have another. Alex lets it fly. That's around the rim and no good. And ball out of bounds. The Zebras will keep it. So Alex now with 10 points on the night. He'll check out as Tyler Walker back into the lineup. Stasiak Walker. Abbott, Lingenfelder, and Wood, the five on the court now for Rochester. Inbounds pass on high to Wood, back to Stasiak, three from the corner. Boom. That's down the well, and that's what Trey does well. Yep. Great shooter, and he's one of those, if he gets hot, look out. Trey now two for four from downtown on the season, and little miscommunication. Ball out of bounds, back to Rochester, 64-44. Is the Barry lead with a minute and a half to go? Yep, just win this last 90 seconds. Just that's what the Zebras have to look for. Win this last 90 seconds. Abbott drives, kicks back out. That ball tipped, picked up by Stasiak. 
Cut off at the foul line. Entry pass to Walker, knocked away. And loose ball picked up by the Berries. Right idea by Trey, just not a great angle. Shot on the way from, from Price is no good. Rebound, Logan Sport. Reverse layup, no good by Goodman. And a whistle and a foul. We're going to go the other way and shoot some more foul shots. That's on Crowd. That number 44, Jackson Crowd. His second, team nine. I think Walker's the one going to the line here. Tyler on the season two out of four from the foul stripe. And that one's around the rim, no good. Crowd grabs the board, and we're under a minute to go. Alvarado with a cross-court skip pass. Price will put up another three. This one on the way, no good. Loose ball rebound, took out of there by Abbott, or taken out of there by Abbott. Stasiak with it across the stripe. And that ball. Knocked away and picked up by Logan Sport. Wickersham to Price. Back to Wickersham. He'll pop a three from the top of the key. That one's no good. Abbott with another rebound. Yeah, Abbott and just got poked in the eye. I hope he clears that up because he's got some foul shots coming, and we're now in the double bonus. Number 15, that is uh, Alvarado with his first personal foul. Team 10. The line, number 30, Bryce well, Justin, Howard. we'll take a break at the conclusion of the game. We'll come back and kind of wrap everything up here with some final statistics and thoughts. But uh, certainly been a pleasure tonight. Yes, I've had a blast working with you, and hopefully we can do it again. I have no idea if the powers that be will ever <laughs> think this was a good idea. But, uh, yes, I agree. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do this yet again. Abbott, his second foul shot on the good, on the it's up and good. <laughs> Eight points in the contest tonight for Bryce, all coming in the second half. Well, good night for the sophomore. Now it looks like Logan Sport's going to look to hold it. That is not an over and back call as Abbott tapped it into the backcourt. And time's going to run out. With your final score, Logan Sport 64, Rochester. 46. Let's take a break. We'll come back and wrap it up in a bit. You're watching Zebra Basketball right here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe. Online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This one's in the books. Logan Sport. Comes away victorious by a final score of 64-46. The Berries improving to 4-0 on the season. The Zebras dropping to 2-3. Let's take a look at the uh, scoring for tonight's contest. Uh, Will Penny led the way for the Berries with 24. He led all scorers. Sam Skaggs with 17 points. Oddly enough, both those guys right on their season's average. Yep. Tyler Platt also right on his season's average with nine points tonight. And then rounding out the scoring for Logan Sport, Zach White and Jacob Cox each with four points. Elijah Crow, Eli Wickersham, and Jackson Crowd uh, all with two points apiece. For your Rochester Zebras, they were led in scoring by Jordan Reinholdt and Alex Onafield, each with 10 points tonight. Bryce Abbott with eight points, all coming in the second half. Austin Utter also contributing eight points this evening. Brady Perez with five. Calvary Lingenfelder and Trey Stasiak each with three points apiece. Uh, Justin, 
final thoughts on tonight's contest? Well, let's, let's put this in perspective. So it's an 18-point loss, and the last three or four years, it's been 20, 30-plus. So the steps forward in the program, there's, there's, that's, a, that's a big, that, those are big steps, being 18 points down to a, to a defending NCC uh, champ. The, the, we're doing better. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, we knew coming in mm -hmm. this was going to be a tall order. One of the biggest schools, if not the biggest school, we face on our entire schedule. Um, again, trying to see what we're made of, trying to trying to get the right combination, playing a lot of kids right now. And there are bright days ahead for Rochester Zebra oh, basketball absolutely. right absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah, but, and, you know, Coach is probably in there saying, you know, all the same things we're saying right now. The boys have got to – Learn from this, you know, tonight and tomorrow, and then get back after it Monday after school, get ready for the next contest. Basketball coming up next week on uh, Monday, freshman basketball at North Miami. On Wednesday the 13th, girls basketball at, uh, or at home versus Triton. Freshman basketball at Tippecanoe Valley on Thursday the 14th. And then um, boy-girl doubleheader next Friday night on the 15th of December at North Miami. Girls will tip at 6.15, followed by the boys. Uh, should be uh, an exciting night of basketball uh, as both boys and girls uh, look to pick up a victory in the Three Rivers Conference. Yep, and that's the Three Rivers Conference opener for the boys. So uh, big games coming up right there. And then, I'm sorry, I gave the wrong score for the girls there earlier because I'm on a group text with a bunch of people and I read the wrong score. So the last one I got from Chris Brown was 36-22 at the end of three. Okay, well, thank you for the update and uh, appreciate everybody coming along for the ride tonight. Want to shout out to our producer extraordinaire, Jeremy Swango, did a great job up in the crow's nest taking care of us tonight. I also want to thank Scott Sager for getting us hooked up and uh, everybody out there. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll sign off for Justin Bach. I'm Todd Beeler. Thanks again for watching Zebra Basketball right here on RTC TV4. Have a good evening, everyone. Good night.